Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. Now, this is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature. So sit back and enjoy. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Galatians 4 and 16. The Greco Roman Empire was a multicultural empire, and black Jews played an integral part in it from the beginning to the end. The reason behind using the term black Jews is because that is the description given to the Jews by the Roman historian Tacitus. He lived from A.D. 56 to 120 A.D. And for proof's sake, here is the quote. Many again say that they were a race of Ethiopian origin who in the time of King Cepheus were driven by fear and hatred of their neighbors to seek a new dwelling place. Modern Jewish history, Tacitus on the Jews, circa 110 Christian era. And you can find this in the Jewish virtual library dot org. The front cover of the book, The Jew of Rome, by Lion Funkt Winger, 1935. Lion Funkt Winger, born July 7, 1884, died December 21, 1958, was a German Jewish novelist and playwright, a prominent figure in the literary world of Weimar Germany. He influenced contemporaries, including playwright Bartolt Bright, Funkt Winger's Judaism, and fierce criticism of the National Socialist German Workers Nazi Party years before it assumed power ensured that he would be a target of government-sponsored persecution after Adolf Hitler's appointment as Chancellor of Germany in January 1933. Following a brief period of internment in France and a harrowing escape from continental Europe, he found asylum in the United States, where he died in 19. 19- 58. The Jew of Rome, a book by Lion Funkt Wenger. The book is part of a trilogy, the Josephus trilogy about Flavius Josephus, beginning in the year 60 in Rome. The first of the trilogy was called Josephus, 1932. The second, The Jew of Rome, 1935. And the last, The Day Will Come, Josephus and the Emperor, 1942. What is very interesting and notable about the cover of the book, The Jew of Rome, is Josephus is portrayed as brown skinned or to use the language of the Greco-Roman Empire 
Josephus is portrayed as a Ethiops or an Ethiopian. Ethiops in classical antiquity terms such as Afer, Morris, Nigger, Ater, Fuscus, Perustus, or Melis were commonly used in reference to darker tone physical characteristics encountered in daily life around the Mediterranean. The term Ethiops, Ethiops, refer to particularly dark-skinned peoples. And here's another reference that we can use. The works of Flavius Josephus, the learned and authentic Jewish historian and celebrated warrior in four volumes, to which are added three dissertations concerning Jesus Christ, John the Baptist, James the Just, God's command to Abraham, etc., with an index to the whole in copper plates, translated by William Winston, A.M., Professor of Mathematics in the University of Cambridge, Volume 4, published in London, 1806. And here's a brief history on who is Flavius Josephus, born A.D. 37, died 100 A.D., also known as Titus Flavius Josephus, Joseph ben Matthias, or Joseph ben Metiyahu, was a first century Roman Jewish historian and military leader, best known for writing the Jewish War. He was born in Jerusalem, then part of the Roman province of Judea, to a father of priestly descent and a mother who claimed royal ancestry. If we reference in the book, Dissertation, Part 3, we can read Tacitus accounts of the origin of the Jewish nation. Page 392. History of the Jews, Book 5, Chapter 2. Since we are now going to relate the final period of this famous city, Jerusalem, it seems proper to give an account of its original or origin. The greatest part or the majority of the Greco-Roman citizens, the greatest part say they were those Ethiopians, the Jews were those Ethiopians whom fear and hatred obliged to change or obliged them to change their habitations in the reign of King Cephas. Now, this is a very interesting part because Professor William Winston, the translator, was amazed by something. And the something was the Jews were called Ethiopians. And he made that fact clear by stating, one would wonder how Tacitus or any heathen could suppose the African Ethiopians under Cepheus, who are known to be blacks, could be the parent of the Jews who are known to be whites? William Winston. William Winston, born December 9th, 1667, died August 22nd, 1752, was an English theologian, historian, natural philosopher, and mathematician, a leading figure in the popularization 
of the ideas of Isaac Newton. He is now probably best known for helping to investigate the Longitude Act in 1714 and his attempts to win the rewards that it promised and his important translations of the antiquities of the Jews and other works by Josephus, which are still in print. William Winston, translator of the works of Josephus. William Winston was amazed by the observation of ancient Romans regarding the black origin of the ancient Jews. His quote, one would wonder how Tacitus, the Roman historian, or any heathen could suppose the African Ethiopian and the Cephas, who are known to be blacks, could be the parent of the Jews who are known to be whites. And that is because he didn't understand the history of the black Jews in the Roman Empire who lived in the city of Rome, Italy, Alexandria, Egypt, Carthage, North Africa, Antioch, Syria, and cities throughout the Roman Empire. <laughs>